Good morning guys, so it is day nine of Vlogmas, nine, I cannot believe it. And um, yeah, I've just woken up and um, obviously I've got dressed, sorted out my face, and I thought I'd come and show you a bit of behind the scenes in the store. Um, so I'm making my new cash envelopes today. Um, I think I showed you some of the new tools and equipment that I've bought recently and it's all kind of been in preparation for these new cash envelopes that I'm designing so I thought I'd quickly show you how I actually am making them so yeah hope you enjoy okay so I'm in my silhouette design software and I'm just creating my outline for my envelope I've already measured a £50 note, which is the largest denomination in my country. So my outline needs to be a minimum of this size. I've measured it to be 6.5 inches by three and a half inches. I'm now going to design the inside of my envelope. So I'm going to create a border by getting another curved rectangle and placing it inside of my previous one and trying to line it up just so that it can be nice and straight. I'm then going to align both of them to the center of the page just to be 100% precise. I've decided to go for a pound side in the middle of my envelope. So I've just gone on to Google to search for a pound sign symbol, and I'm hoping to find some kind of clip art that I can copy and transfer to my silhouette library. You have to be really, really careful though, guys, because if you are looking to sell your envelopes, you need to make sure that you find free art. You can't just take any symbol from the internet and sell it as your own. So I've gone back in to Google now and I've changed my search to free so that I can make sure that I'm not taking anyone else's design and I'm free to use it and sell it if I so choose to. So I'm back in my silhouette software and I'm going to import the image that I've just found on Google into my library. Once I've opened my design in a new workspace, I'm just going to cut it and paste it into my current design space with my cash envelope template. I'm going to position it right in the center. I've made it slightly bigger than it was previously and align it just to make sure that it's nice and precise. Now, once I've done this, because I don't actually want the pound symbol on my envelope, I just want the outline, I need to trace it. So I've got to take a trace tool over my image select my trace area and then I can remove the actual pound sign itself and be left with an outline. I'm now going to create a circle around my pound symbol because I do want that cut out. I don't want to actually have the pound symbol left on my vinyl. So I'm just going to have a circle now with the actual pound symbol cut out in the middle. I think that will look nicer. And then I am aligning it, making sure it's always nice and straight. 
The final thing that I'm going to do now is name my envelope. So the label that I'm going to put in the top left hand corner for this envelope is going to be household. I am just typing out the lettering and then I need to change it to a font that again, I have the right to sell if I choose to. I'm going to make it slightly smaller than it is now so that it can fit nicely on the envelope. I'm selecting my whole design and then moving it to the top of the page so that I can be a bit more efficient with the space. And yeah, my design is ready to be cut. Okay guys, so I thought I'd quickly show you the equipment that you're going to need first of all. So you're going to need some vinyl wrap for your actual design. So I've got three here. Um, I've got a rose gold chrome vinyl um, and yeah this is my favourite and this is one that we're going to be using today. I've also got some pink vinyl, pink chrome and it has this kind of like hollow graphic effect. I don't know if you can see that. And then I've also got this glossy rainbow silver chrome vinyl and it also has that kind of holographic effect as well. These two are going to be available for the design that I actually pick for my cash envelopes. I just wanted to show you these two because they will be available in the shop to buy as well, but we are actually using this one today. We're going to also need a cutting mat. So you're going to need a plastic cutting mat to stick your vinyl on so you can put it through your cutting machine. You're going to need some transfer tape and we're going to use this to take the design off of the sticky back and place it onto our cash envelope. You're going to also need some tools. You won't need all of these tools, but I'll definitely need this one to kind of smooth out my design and this one to pick out the bits of vinyl that I don't need for my actual lettering. So we'll need that as well. Not so much this one, but I've got all three and I just want to show you the ones that I have. And then we are also going to need some laminating pouches. So I've got two here. You're going to need at least two laminating pouches and you're going to need a cutter of your choice so i've got this one i've got two cutters but i'm going to probably use this one mainly throughout the video so i'll show you how you can just use a basic standard cutter to make them as well so i've already pre-cut some of my rose gold vinyl so all i'm going to do is place it on my cutting mat so i'm just going to line it up in the middle somewhere because that is where I've put my design and it kind of corresponds with the measurements that I've already made already on my design that you've seen previously. So this is approximately the size that I need. So I'm just going to take this over to the cutting machine and get my design cut. <laughs> Okay guys, so this is the third time lucky and yeah, I'm still practicing and learning how to kind of use this material. It's all new to me as well. So you will need to play around. You will need to try out different cut settings for your machine. So just letting you know that even for me, I've only been working with this for a week or so and I've wasted so much vinyl already. So it does take a while to get used to the cut settings, as I said. So yeah, play around with your machines, guys. But yeah, I think we have it ready now so um all i'm going to do is take a corner of the piece of the vinyl and peel it away and you should be left You've got to be really careful because some bits may not be cut properly so just be really careful and what you should be left with is your label and your outside layer. And then I'm going to use my Cricut tool just to pick out the bits in the center. Yeah, and then 
because I want to actually remove the pound sign but just have the outline, I'm going to take that out as well. We just need to take the middle bit out now. I mean, when it goes right, guys, it is quite satisfying to be honest, but um, I'm still like really, really worried about it. I don't want to waste any more material. Okay, so that is our finished design. Okay, now I need to remove this exactly how it is from the actual backing, the adhesive backing, and put it onto my laminating pouch. So I'd need some transfer paper, and here is some that I cut earlier. So all I'm going to do is just peel, peel my transfer paper, and I'm going to lay it on top of my design. Try and make sure you don't get any air bubbles or anything like that. And this is where the second tool comes in from the Cricut Toolkit. rubbed it quite a few times and yeah we can see the bottom bit is going to come up let's see if the lettering will come up when we do it okay so it looks like we're good to go my laminating pouches obviously come like this they have a seal at the bottom here in the middle and all I've done is trim off that seal from the bottom and I have now got two sheets. They are different sizes because I have already had a little test run. Um, but yeah, what you have to do is you have to make sure that, let me just bring back my old bit. So when you have a laminating pouch on the inside, if you fill the inside, it's quite matte. And then on the outside you have the shine what you need to do is make sure the mat is on the outside and the gloss is on the inside so that's what you need to do to ensure that you can open your envelope once you laminate it so i'm just going to keep one here for now with its matte layer facing me i'm going to bring back my design so i'm going to take my design off of the adhesive backing you just got to be really careful guys because you don't want to rip it or cause any bits not to come up so this bit here I didn't rub it enough so I'm just gonna push down on it it should come up And here is my laminating pouch, and I'm just going to press this down. I'm not gonna to be too precious. If I was actually making this design for my shop, I would probably try and make sure that I don't waste any of the pouch and try and use the space efficiently, but just for this, I'm just going to, you know, place it in the middle. And yeah, I'm back with my tool. So I'm just rubbing out all of the air bubbles, um, just making sure that the transfer will be a success. And yeah, you're basically just transferring the design onto here. So I'm just gonna see if I can remove it. And just be careful again, I keep saying this, but some parts will adhere better than others. So you just have to be really, really slow, especially when it comes to the lettering. If you have any lettering in your design. Voilà. 
So we have our design on our laminating pouch. This has taken a while to get to this point. Now I'm going to bring back my other pouch. So remember, this is the other side and we want our matte on the outside, gloss on the inside. So I'm gonna put this over here. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just gonna trim down these two edges. So I'm gonna go around here and I'm gonna trim it down to the point where both of these now will be an outline of the design. just got them lined up and yeah I'm just going to now put these into another laminating pouch and get it sealed so we're nearly there guys we're nearly there Okay, so I have passed my envelope through the laminator. I'm just going to cut around this edge. I do need to leave a little bit of a gap so that I don't cut into the actual seam. And then let's see if it actually works. So here is my new cash envelope. So now for the ultimate test to see if I can actually fit my 50 pound note in here. It looks like it will go in. Let's see if the seal is open. And yeah, it fits it perfectly. So yeah, guys, you can see it on the back here. And that is my new cash envelope. As I said, I will probably not release this design. It was just a template for me to show you how to actually how to actually make your own. Um, I have got a design ready for me to release in the store. So do check out the store if you're interested in these kind of envelopes. I think it looks so beautiful in this rose gold chrome. I can't wait to try out the other colors and see how it goes. But yeah, please let me know in the comments below what you think, if you're gonna have a go at trying to make your own, any tips that you can give me, because as I said, it is a lot more complicated than the envelopes that I currently make. So yeah, please let me know what you think in the comment box below if you have found this video to be interesting please do not forget to hit that subscribe button ring that notification bell so you are kept up to date with all of my latest videos and i'll speak to you in the next one guys have a good day